there, Cancerians. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl looking at November 13 through November 19. And Cancers, there's a lot of planetary play in your fifth house of romance, creativity and self-fulfillment this week. A new moon, the sun and Venus, the goddess of love. Now, of course, they're all in Scorpio, which is the most possessive and we can say jealous sign of the zodiac. So you do have to be prepared for that and not get jealous or possessive. There's nothing worse than feeling as if it's a horrible feeling to have for yourself and it's a horrible feeling for your partner or the person you're dating to feel as if you're distrusting them and not, you know, following them around or checking their texts or their phone or something like that. It happens all the time. That's how people find out when people are cheating. But if you've got nothing to worry about, if you're just creating drama in your own mind, why are you doing that? And the new moon this weekend is going to help you see just how obsessive and jealous that you might have been and how turning over a new leaf is going to be the best thing. A new moon highlights a week that also has an assortment of different goodies in store for relationships, a tricky judgment call and an important warning, Cancerians. There are usually only good things to say about love when Venus and Jupiter conjunct, like the one Monday, November 13. However, Venus is in Scorpio, which can make love a prickly topic. This makes Monday a time to be on the lookout for possessive behavior and jealousy. Later the same day, Mercury and Neptune square issues another warning that your judgment may be in question because that's when it's easy to see things that aren't really there. Once again, you thinking something's up. On Saturday, November 18, the double Scorpio energy of the new moon is going to be your best friend if you want to change, transform your life because it's the perfect energy, Cancers, for getting rid of the old and starting something new. And that's exactly what you want to be doing. Have a great week. Always good to speak to you. And I look forward to speaking to you again next week when it's Thanksgiving.